guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be throwing it back old school. We are going to be, we're gonna be using the old school naked palettes. So who remembers these that they had such a chokehold on us? Naked two, if I can open it. That was Naked 2. This is the OG. <laughs> and you can see how much I dipped into that bad boy. <gasps> and then, of course, Naked 3, which was, I think, the more pinky. Oh, yeah, like the more pinky shades. So this is going to be a three-part series. And the first one right now, we're going to do Naked, the original, the OG. So without further ado, guys, let's get right on in. All right, so part of this challenge is I'm only going to use the brush that came with this palette, which was the double-ended bad boy there. So that's part of my challenge. And we're also, <laughs> we're gonna do it. And the funny thing is, is we're only going to use that brush, but we're gonna do one side primer, one side without primer, just to see, because back in the day, I never used primer until the last few years. So we're gonna see what it's all about. <laughs> uh, we're not going to do eye pencil because I never did use eye pencil when, when I was doing my makeup in this era. I just kind of uh, let the foundation do the talking on my eyebrows. But in photos, I'll have to throw in some photos and throwbacks. And I actually, <laughs> I actually like the way my eyebrows looked, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna do this side right here. This is going to be the prime side and this side is not. So we're gonna of course use the P. Louise base and this is in the shade Rumor 0.5. We will use another little brush for this of course, just because I don't wanna get the other brush dirty for this challenge. All right. So I will let you guys know because for full disclosure, uh, I keep it real here on my channel and I did before coming on here and filming, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown. I did have one this week. It was, it was kind of bad, just things that I'm going through. I won't go into detail on here because this is a makeup channel, but just full disclosure, just because I seem so happy and bubbly <laughs> doesn't mean that I didn't just have a full on meltdown before coming on to to film and it took me a little bit today to get up here I was not feeling my greatest and it did take me a hot minute to to get in get in the mood to film for you guys so yeah here I am though because this makes me happy and I need to do more things that make me happy so obviously there's not really a good shade to set so we're just gonna we're just gonna jump on right in on what I would have done. And I'm trying to remember which shades that I would have done where, because I really obviously wasn't a makeup connoisseur like I was back then. But we're gonna go in with the shade Naked. And actually I might use this because it's not too bad of a shade. It's a little more skin tony. that's even a word. What shows have you guys been watching lately? I am back on a Grey's Anatomy kick and I love that Netflix has it so I can just binge watch. However, Netflix, it's either all or nothing with me trying to get it to where it only plays three episodes before asking if I'm watching. It's either it continuously plays until the end of the show or it will only play one one episode and then I have to keep continuing it how do I get it to go back to the three episode rule thing I don't know maybe you guys can help me out so the next color we're gonna use is the shade book which is more of a brown shade and I'm trying I wish I could remember the way that I would apply my makeup using using this 
and obviously I forgot to go do the left eye so we will stand by <laughs> go back to that with naked did you guys ever use these palettes I think they have new ones now don't they like naked heat and and then of course we'll go back in with buck These really had quite the chokehold on me back in the day. I used to think I was a hot mamma jamma wearing this. And the funny thing is, is it's like all shimmers pretty much. And I'm just like, oh my God, I wore all these shimmers. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the shade. We're going to use Virgin and we're going to use Virgin right underneath the brow bone because I definitely did that really heavy back then. I know I for sure did that one. <laughs> now if only I could have the thin, the thin brows, <laughs> then we would really be set. And I used to not wear blush either back then. Alright, we're gonna go in with the shade. Let's do toasted. And it's funny because I remember when I was using this palette, Pinterest was becoming a thing, and I had pinned all of these pins about, you know, how to use these palettes, what colors, because I look at these and I'm like, oh my gosh, how would anybody use this? Because it's a lot of shimmer. Now it's funny how the side without the primer is just looking really murky, and this side is just looking a little bit more put together, but I do like the way this color is coming out. So it's just a funny, just interesting to me. Now we're gonna go in with Hustle. Put this a little bit down a little bit more here in that crease line. Do you guys have any plans coming up for the upcoming week? You guys doing anything fun? Memorial Day's coming up, so are you guys going anywhere? It's so funny. I love this brush, but it's so hard to blend. I feel like everything is just blending together. And then last but not least, we're going to go in a little bit with Creep just to give a cute little smoky vibe. I'm trying to use all one brush. I can't believe I used to do this back in the day. And everything, literally, except for two shades in this palette, are all, they're all shimmers. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's so black! And what's crazy is I only just did one swipe. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and I can't even blend. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is so interesting. Now we're gonna use the flat side and we're gonna go in with Sidecar. I know I use this a lot. Maybe this will help with this. With this whole black lid I have going on on this left side here. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? And again, I would have done this left side because I didn't use primer back in the day. Oh my gosh. This is hard. This is very hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then last but not least, we're gonna use Sin, which I always did this right here on my inner corner. And I always did it really big and bold and then didn't put anything on my bottom, except for mascara and eyeliner. So this is like super funny to me because that's literally what I did. I was just like, whoop. And then I would put eyeliner from like here over. So what I'm gonna do is pretend to do that, but with this shadow here. You're gonna see Nugget here in a second, I think creeping through. I think she wants to sit in my lap. Yep, there's, there's Nugget. <laughs> and I probably should have cleaned it up because I really didn't clean it up that much when I was doing my makeup back in the day. What did I do with that? Oh, there's a brush. So we're gonna go in just with Creep, the black shade. Cause 
this is what I would have done. Faux show. I'm like barely dipping it in and this thing is like... And I think I have the perfect nude lip that I would always have worn with something like this, with this look. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Let's clean out the eyelashes. I probably would have just done this. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, y'all. This is. Oh yeah, look at all that shimmer fallout. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Because I have a foundation that is way too orange for me. So let's let's try that out because that would have been for real, the look. So we're gonna go in with the Luminous. This is their airbrush foundation that I always I always get afraid to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is way too orange for me, but this is definitely what I would have worn back then for foundation. And I wouldn't blend it down, so I would just have this nice orange line. Let's see if I can get it right here on my eyebrows because that's I'm telling you guys I'm gonna have to find pictures and drop them in here <laughs> and it was either brown lipstick or like just really nude lipstick oh yeah <laughs> hello orange right Yep, this is circa uh, 2010 for me. All right, let's get those lips. Okay, I actually found a product that I used back in the day <laughs> during this, this era. This is MAC. It's called Hana Lulu Contouring Stick. <laughs> what do you use it as a highlighter? I don't even know where I would put it. I don't think I put it like, and I did that, like I didn't even blend it in, or if I did, it would probably be with my fingers. I did not do the nose, I didn't. Is that a zit? Oh, a zit. Um, but I would definitely put it like up under here if I wasn't wearing all this eyeshadow, but I'm pretty sure I put it up above. I'm pretty sure I did that. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, this is so funny to me. <laughs> and I wanna, this is literally what it looks like. <laughs> and then for blush, I did find blush that actually I've had that long. This is the Benefit. This is the Georgia Peach Blush. And it looks like this. It's a peachy shimmery color and of course I would use this brush that came in it. I probably shouldn't be wearing this either because it's so expired. But I think for me it's like a classic. And I don't even think like any stuff is coming off of it. Maybe my foundation's just so orange, I can't tell. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I found a color that I would have worn back then. This is the Kat Von D. I think it's Bone and Arrow. Bow and Arrow, B-O-W-N 
Arrow. This is the Kat Von D, which is no longer Kat Von D, so you know this is old. It is KVD Beauty. Beautiful and brown. All right, next on is it. I did not wear a lip liner back then. Oh yeah. This is definitely... <laughs> oh my goodness, this is definitely giving me 2000... Uh, what, 2010 vibes, for sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that orange. But before we zoom out, we're gonna look at my eye look. And of course, this is the side without primer. This is the side with primer. Primer, no primer. Um, I'm definitely liking the way the prime side, even though this is definitely not a look that I would wear all the time because just shimmery shades. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, however, it's actually making my eyes look really, really green today. So mm, let's zoom on out and talk about this look. All right, now that we are all zoomed out and <laughs> I'm look making sure in the, in the monitor that everything looks good to go and looking here in the mirror at myself, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you can see the orange foundation. <laughs> that I would have worn the brown lipstick. Uh, I used to wear Maybelline Wets, I think it's called Wet Slicks in brown and I thought I was so cute. And then of course, you know, a lot of shimmer uh, from the highlighter. <laughs> but overall, this was nostalgic and I really liked this and it was a really quick and easy makeup look but using the same brush was a little weird for me and hard and difficult but I made it work, so what do you guys think? Do you guys still have your Naked palette? Do you still use it? Um, yeah, mine is, it's so old that, <laughs> like the writing and stuff is, is coming off of it, and it's just, I mean, obviously. <laughs> oh my goodness, but. Well, thank you guys for watching and joining in on this little nostalgia tour that I'm doing. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. See you guys in the next video. Oh my gosh, I like hit it with my elbow.